One woman is in critical condition tonight, and another is in jail after a shooting in Nina. Police say it happened at the Walmart on Winnicani Avenue. They say the suspect is 46-year-old Justine Boyd of Greenville, and both she and the victim are Walmart employees. Fox 11's Alex Ranallo has more. This is shocking. This is Nina. Lisa Boudreaux came to Walmart to shop and found a crime scene. An employee was shot in the liquor section. She says she moved her family here from Las Vegas to avoid violence. Where this stuff happens all the time. You know, it's everyday occurrence. This never happens. I'm shocked. I bring my kids here. Nina Police Chief Kevin Wilkinson says police were called to the store at about 11. Found the victim and got uh, the victim to medical uh, uh, emergency medical services. The 56-year-old victim had a single gunshot wound to the abdomen. The victim was taken to Theta Clark Medical Center in Nina, where she's listed in critical condition. Police quickly found the alleged shooter in the store, too. Which uh, led to the identification of uh, a suspect. They quickly uh, took that person into custody. The suspect is 46-year-old Justine Boyd. Police say both Boyd and the victim are cashiers at the store, but it's unclear what prompted the shooting. I don't know if it was something that just arose today or if it was something long-standing. A spokeswoman for Walmart tells Fox 11 she's shocked by this. She says that she's in touch with the victim's family and that the store is helping in the investigation. Walmart officials say the liquor section was shut down due to the shooting, but the store remained open, a move that surprised Boudreaux. Show some respect, show some decorum, you know, seriously, is this person's life. Walmart spokeswoman says the decision was made after there was no longer a danger present and the victim had received medical care. Boudreaux says she mostly hopes the victim will be okay. Just feel so bad for the lady that was shot. In Nina, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News. Boyd has been booked in the Winnebago County Jail on attempted murder charges. Walmart says she's been suspended from work.